If you want your forehand to be more consistent and accurate, then I want you to copy this forehand finish by Serena Williams. I want you to notice how she's catching the racket up over her shoulder. A lot of players think that this is old school, like, no, this isn't what you're supposed to do now. Well, I mean, it works for Serena. <laughs> so this type of finish where you're catching the racket over the shoulder, and you could even just hold it there if you're taking a lesson, just hold it there for a second. What it does is ensures a low to high swing as you're hitting. Many players, when they hit the ball, they swing very much around their body. And it's almost like the racket is a hula hoop going around their body. If you watch Serena, she's down below the ball, her strings are closed, and then she is spinning up the back of the ball. Strings are facing forward, but her racket's traveling up. That is what imparts the spin on the ball for consistency because it pulls the ball down. Now, the racket tends to go toward your non-hitting hand. So if your non-hitting hand is down here, for instance, then the racket tends to go there. Anatomically, our hands try to find each other. It's just the way it works. And so when you are raising your non-hitting hand as you're hitting the ball, which you can see Serena doing right here, it makes your racket more willing to swing up. I mean, Serena's not even swinging up as much as Nadal. Nadal goes up even more and then finishes up above his head. So this idea of swinging up is a good thing. And for recreational players, it makes it easier to swing up to impart the spin you're looking for by catching the racket over the shoulder. Now, if you're looking for people in your local area to play against, practice with, or if you want to find a coach who's close to you, use my link in the description, playyourcourt.com slash two minute tennis for 50% off. So as soon as the ball comes to you on your forehand turn, and this is what I call two high fives. It's almost like somebody is standing over here and giving Serena two high fives. Turn with both hands to your dominant side. As the racket drops, that's when the non-hitting hand should clear. So you can see both hands went back together, but the non-hitting hand is going to clear out of the way to allow hip turn to occur as the racket is dropping. You can see those two things happen simultaneously. This right here, gorgeous. Closed racket face, about 45 degrees closed. And when you are closed with your racket face below contact, it makes it so easy to swing up the back and spin the ball. This is how you're going to get that consistency where the ball goes over the net and then it dips down, getting that ball to spin over itself. Now remember, she cleared her non-hitting hand out of the way, but now she's raising it. You want the non-hitting hand to rise as you're hitting the ball. It promotes this hip turn. It also promotes an upward swing because now you're going to catch the racket up over the shoulder. Notice her eyes are still looking down at the contact. This is an absolutely gorgeous forehand. So use your non-hitting hand to catch the racket over your opposite shoulder, and there's no doubt you're going to gain confidence, win more matches, and play much better tennis. This is Ryan Reedy from 2MinuteTennis.net. You got this.